guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you thank you so much for clicking on my video and i hope this video will make you stay subscribed share all the good stuff and if you're a returning subscriber hey what is it welcome back baby so in today's video it is another um, foundation review we're gonna be reviewing the l'oreal infallible 24 first wave foundation um i tried my best to give the best and honest opinion as possible um and yeah i hope you guys like my finished face because child i'm feeling myself at this point like i'm loving it <laughs> i am loving it okay so um yeah just you know if you guys have any questions about the foundation do you leave it in the comment down in the comment section below don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's just get into why is my hair being disrespectful let's just get into the video <sighs> okay so i already moisturized my face i did my eyes i did my eyebrows um so right now i'm gonna go in with this baby um baby skin pore instant eraser primer from maybelline and i'm just gonna apply that on my face before we move on to To the foundation um i love this primer this is like one of my favorite primers i love how it blurs out the pores <laughs> you know just like it seems to do like it's a very silicone based primer but i genuinely do not mind it um it's not my go-to primer i wouldn't i wouldn't say that although i do love it um it's it's kind of too mattifying for me so when i do want like a kind of a, like a matte finish or if i feel like you know i'm too oily for that day because i have combination skin i will go with this primer um and then i just use a flat brush to apply it i try my best not to use my hands to apply my primer i just prefer a brush um you know because we don't want problems with our skin honey we don't want that we genuinely do not want that so i'm just gonna blend it out uh in um i'm mostly focusing on my forehead my t-zone and chin i don't necessarily put it all over my face um, i focus it on those areas only okay um so the foundation that we're going to be reviewing today is the l'oreal infallible 24 our fresh wave foundation this is in the shade number 320 yeah this is 320 and this is caramel toffee um this foundation guys i've only worn it once um, but I didn't do like a video on it because I was kind of in a hurry when I did it So I was just like, okay, this will be like the perfect day for me to sort of like give a full-on review Because I actually know how long it lasts and whatnot. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Foundation um, It is It gives a no shine, it covers imperfections, it has no transfer, transfer and no mask effect So those are the things that we're going to be looking for today and um yeah i'll just let you guys know my um my thoughts regarding this foundation <clears throat> okay so to start off i'm just gonna squirt a few pumps i'm gonna do four i'm gonna do four pumps on the back of my hand and i'm gonna take the same brush that i used for my foundation for my um for my primer to spread it around um, so far the consistency is quite watery compared to like most of my foundation it is quite like it's very more like watery but um it feels lightweight um from this swatch only i could tell that it's not necessarily a full-on coverage um it could be medium it feels um it has like a, a scent to it it's like a beautiful scent though it's not like a disgusting um chemical scent because i know some foundations be having that and i'm like why why would you do that to us so it has like a kind of like a soothing um feel to it um it's very lightweight not the kind of foundation that i would normally go to for because i'm one that really loves um a good coverage foundation like i love like a deep look so so far I would say that this is the foundation that you would use if you're one why do i have hair on my face if you're one that likes like um no makeup makeup kind of look or prefer a very lightweight foundation i'm 
not quite sure if um, the foundation is buildable in terms of coverage or what. So we're going to test that after I blend everything out. Okay, so this is how the foundation look it gives off like a natural finish it melts into the skin um, I'm gonna add one more pump so this will be like the fifth pump okay two more this these will be like six pumps in in total because I'm trying to see if I could build um, the coverage for it and I'll let you guys know um, so far I do feel like there's a limit in terms of how um, you know the, the amount of coverage that you can get because it's very thin like it has like a very thin consistency and it lays on your skin super thin um I hence they do say that it doesn't have like a mask effect because it's very thin so i'm gonna blend that out Okay, so um, the coverage is buildable. Um, I did add a little bit on my nose to, just to cover my freckles a little bit. Um, I feel like this foundation is quite great for um, beginner use because it does not dry off too quickly, hence it does not require you to work very fast. And I feel like if you're a beginner, you prefer to work a little bit slower because you, know, you, know, you don't really know what you're doing. Um, it does not dry off pretty fast. But um, it's very smooth, like it dries out smooth. I don't know if it's because of the primer, because also I use like a blurring primer. Um, it blends out perfectly fine. Um, it does not get any patchy. I know with some of my foundations, um, especially out when I go in with like a beauty uh, blender, it would start to get patchy around the nose and around the forehead. It does not do that. Um, it does last, I could tell you that, because like I mentioned earlier on, I did wear it um, some other night out, and it did last. And um, a no transfer, I'm not sure about that because I did have a few stains on the top that I was wearing. Um, I don't know if it was me or some other girl around. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say. Um, it is perfect for like an everyday use. I would totally recommend it. Um, the shade match, matches perfectly fine with me. Um, what I'm not sure is um, does, does it oxidize or not. That's what I'm not sure about. But I will update you guys. I'll just leave it in the description box because um, I will wear it throughout the day and then I'll write it down in the description box. So if you're also curious about that, um, just check out the description box and you will find out. So I'm um, here. Yeah. This is the foundation, you guys. It is not cakey. Um, it's very lightweight, smooth, melts into your skin, easy to blend. And I feel like you could work with it if you are... Uh, 
you want to wear foundation every single day because I do know with heavy foundation or oh, in spring or summer you wouldn't want like a very heavy um, foundation because it could get like you would feel it <laughs> like with thick foundation sometimes you feel like you have foundation on and with this one you generally do not feel it um, I do think though it could be like a waste of product um, considering the amount of pumps that I used I used six pumps to get this um, so if you're someone who prefers like a thick uh, full coverage um, consistency and the foundation and this might not be for you so um yeah let me get off camera finish off my face and I'll be back to complete the entire video and give my overall foundation and we shall check if you know the claims on the bottle matches with what I think or like my opinion and um yeah see you guys in the next clip so um, I just did my face um, I finished off my face off camera and I can say that the foundation does blend out with like product. Um, I feel like it could work with like your contouring and your highlighting to make your foundation more glam if that's what you want. Um, but the foundation itself is not really like a glam foundation. It's way too light to be glam. Um, and the claims of this foundation it's that um, it has a fresh finish, which is true, which is true. Like besides the whole contouring and the whole highlighting, um, it gives you like a natural um, melting to the skin finish the next one is it covers imperfections um i'm very skeptical about that because my freckles if i if a foundation does not cover my freckles especially the ones on this side because they're pretty much darker um it's not much of a full coverage for me so i can still see them like even now like i can see still see a few so it doesn't really cover as much but i feel like if you don't really have um much dark imperfections it could cover them uh, maybe if you are much someone with like a dark skin tone that could work for you as well but for me because um, my foundation is pretty light and my freckles are pretty darker um, it doesn't really cover them that much the other one is no transfer as I mentioned earlier on uh, it does transfer a bit um, I remember the outfit that I wore that day um, it had like a bit of makeup on it so it does transfer um, maybe that also will depend on like the setting spray um, you know where you are if it's too hot or what like I feel like that could also depend if it transfers or not no shine that is true like it's not very shiny but um, it's not too dry like it does not dry out your face no dry out I did mention that no mask effect like I mentioned also um, it does melt into your skin and it does not even show like you have foundation hence it is perfect for an everyday makeup foundation um, or a no makeup makeup kind of look this will be perfect because it, 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 it is not heavy as well um, and then yeah that's all about it so yeah this is the finished look you guys i hope you guys really really enjoyed this review um i tried my best to give you guys um you know the review based on my opinion and try to explain it more in depth um if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave it in the description box below and i'll be glad um i'll gladly um answer the questions oh my gosh there's something in my eye I'll gladly answer the questions for you guys. So um yeah, I hope you guys really really like this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video.